Hi, I'm Lance Allen, and today we're looking at the Snigjet Dual Guitar Hanger. This is a nice little wooden mount that you're going to put on your wall, and you can hang two instruments on it. It also has a little tray that you can put accessories and some hooks that you can hang guitar straps on. In this video, I'm going to show you what it looks like and how to install it on your wall. And if you've got a guitar laying under your bed or in the closet, this is going to be a perfect thing for you to have so that you can hang your guitar, you're going to practice it more, and you're going to play more. Let's dive in and take a look. Here's the box that it comes in. We've got two tabs that pull open. And, oh, there we go. We've got the wooden plate here wrapped in bubble wrap. Looks like all the screws are there. Drywall screws. I would certainly recommend uh, possibly finding a stud in your wall. When hanging that, it looks like these are some extra screws. See, they're going to be about the same size. Here's the little tray. Actually, those screws are probably for the tray. Here's the guitar hanger hooks. Like that, you can get two of them. Of course, it's gonna hang two instruments. You can probably do combinations like a bass guitar, electric guitar, or acoustic guitar, ukulele. We're gonna check that out. And then here's what the wall mount looks like. See the hooks on there. Look at that. That's nice. So we're probably gonna put the tray right there. That's some place you could put your guitar picks. Look at that little slot right there for guitar picks to sit in. And there's gonna be a hook up here and a wall hook here. That's what it's gonna look like. Let's take a look at the install video and we'll get a good idea of how to put this in. So I've decided where I want to hang the wooden plate here, and I've already got a stud right here. I used a stud finder to find that. What I'm going to do is use this template that they've given me. Now I've got a level, and I'm going to place one hole over the stud here, and I'm going to hold this up against the wall so that I can get it level. I'm going to poke a hole over here. This is going to give me where I need to put the drywall screw. So the left screw I can put right into the wall because it's going to go into a stud. And the instructions say leave it out about a half an inch, I believe. So that'll... All right, that looks good. And we're going to put a drywall screw here. And it recommends using a quarter inch drill bit. I'm going to pre-drill the hole and we're going to put in the drywall screw. I'd recommend using a regular screwdriver versus the drill bit to screw in the drywall screw. You don't want to damage the drywall screw. Right. And just screw that in real nice and slow. Wipe away the debris. We're going to put the mounting screw on there. Again, we're going to leave about a half an inch out. There we go. That rests nicely on there and it's flush against the wall as long as you leave about a quarter of an inch of that screw head out and it's nice and secure. So let's attach the little tray that's gonna go onto the wall mount. To attach the tray, you're gonna put it in here and then there's two screws that go in the back. I'm gonna do that. All right, so on the back of the plate, there's a hole for the screw. You're gonna poke it through just to come through enough. And then there's a pre-drilled hole in the shelf and we're just gonna screw that on, probably with our drill. I'm gonna go a little bit at a time on this, just so I don't crack the, the wooden plate. Once you get down at the end, I'd probably use a regular screwdriver just to screw it in tight. Sometimes a drill bit will crack the wood, and that's no good. All right, 
Here we have our little tray. You can put your guitar accessories on, uh, tuners, guitar capo, whatever. And this will fit up here just like so. There we go. Now we'll attach the wall hooks. It comes with this little sleeve you're going to put on there. And we're going to screw it in clockwise. This is going to be good for holding two instruments, probably like a guitar and a mandolin. So I might actually tighten those screws down so there's no wiggle room there. We're going to tighten this side just a little bit. and cozy all right as you can see I've got a guitar hanging and a mandolin up here you could put your guitar capo you have a little slot that you could put your picks in this is a really nice wall hanger and that was really easy to install you could put other instruments on there like a bass guitar or electric guitar um, banjo is going to be pretty heavy so make sure that you have one of those screws into a stud <laughs>